you a frustrated small space grower? Me too. Or at least I was. Container gardening is great, but it doesn't maximize space and it isn't efficient. I finally decided to purchase a green stalk after I ran these wild and practical scenarios of what I would have to do if I refused to not give vertical gardening a try. If this is our first time meeting, hi, I'm Cassandra from the blog, becomingafarmgirl.com, where I share how to live a farm fresh life without land or livestock. I'm a homestead dreamer grafting myself into a more natural, self-sufficient lifestyle in a small space and in my spare time. That means any move I make is centered around taking readily available conventional information about gardening and tweaking it for those of us that are in small spaces. A green stalk is going to save you money and space. Your green stalk planter comes carefully packaged with everything you need to assemble a garden without tolls in minutes. Finding two organic seed packets was a surprise, along with a touching thank you card from the Peterson family, which operates the family-owned Tennessee-based company. You'll also receive an instructional trifold that displays color-rich diagrams and photographs that make it more than clear how to put your planter together. Assembly directions scare me, but this simple guide gave me confidence and later on soothed my French Bulldog Thor to sleep. If you purchase the mover, which allows you to easily move and rotate the green stalk, you'll get another colorful brochure with instructions and pictures, one drainage cap, one drain hose, and a total of six non-lock and lock wheels that both move and secure the planter. This plastic is impressively heavy duty. You'll also get one mover base, gray watering discs, and your planters. Start by covering your workspace for easy cleanup. Then grab your mover base, which easily comes together just by popping the wheels into place and alternating the locking and non-locking wheels. Yep, <laughs> that's it. Once you're finished, flip the mover over and give things a spin. You can choose to add the drain cap or hose depending on your needs. Now it's time to secure your planter to the base of the mover. You'll do this by locking the feet of the planter to the design of the mover. You'll hear the unmistakable click that lets you know things are secure. Next, fill your planter with one cubic foot of quality potting soil to the indicated fill line, being careful not to overly pack in your soil. After this, make sure you have your seeds or starts nearby. I'm using a combination of plants that I grew from seed, as well as starts from my local nursery. I'll be growing a combination of pollinators, herbs, fruits, and vegetables. If you intend to do mixed plantings like I am, you'll want to grow smaller plants towards the top and larger plants towards the bottom to provide equal sun exposure. Friends, I cannot tell you how excited I was to double my planting options this season in just two square feet. And in case you're wondering, each planter pocket is 10 inches deep and seven and a half inches wide. You can combine both vertical and companion planting by mixing vining crops like uh, beans, tomatoes, and squash with low growing herbs and veggies that stick closer to the base like lettuce and radishes in a single pocket to grow well beyond 30 plants. Next, you'll add a gray disc water reservoir to the top of the planter. It's already time to expand your garden and stack another planter on top. This is also super easy and you'll know you've done it correctly because the planter's feet will interlock on the planter below. To avoid getting residual soil into the opening of your planter as you dump in your soil, I covered the opening with a plastic bag. It easily slides off after the planter is filled. From here, the steps are repeated as you add potting soil and plant your garden to your heart's content. That's not an exaggeration because I cannot tell you the satisfaction I felt while planting this garden. Structurally, the green stalk is an attractive accent in any garden. It comes in the chocolate color I have, traditional green, classic terracotta, and stunning stone. 
In a few minutes after we complete the build, I'll touch on specific reasons that got me over the hump to growing vertically and how I made the decision to go with the green stock. But if you're already convinced that this is for you, you can take $10 off of your order by using the coupon code BAFARMGIRL at checkout. I have purchased both of my green stocks because I'm just a genuine customer. I am very grateful to green stock for offering small space growers an affordable and effective growing option and an additional discount to other small space growers. The be a farm girl code doesn't expire. So use it when you're ready and check out my blog post at becoming a farm for even more details and pictures. Watering and fertilizing your garden is easy. Just fill the top water reservoir to the fill line and add your water soluble amendments. You'll know each level has been watered when the excess drains from the drainage hole. And just two weeks later, my garden is growing so healthy and full. Like many beginner gardeners who tiptoe their way into gardening, I started my container garden with about eight to 10 five gallon buckets because they were cheap and accessible and it didn't feel like I was spending too much money on my gardening hobby. Over the next few seasons, I amassed 20 of those $5 Lowe's blue and white paint buckets and I successfully grew a variety of full size fruits and vegetables in them. And they were a great idea until, well, they just weren't. Over time, I grew frustrated that plastic is non-biodegradable and I wanted something more eco-friendly in my garden so I switched to cloth bags and cloth bags had the added benefit of uh, root support and drainage and temperature but it still didn't solve my problem of needing more available floor space. I'm in a townhouse for the time being but in a couple of years I won't be and I want something that will still be useful even when I'm in a larger growing space. I have really enjoyed seeing how homeowners and country dwellers use their green stalks to start their seeds inside under the protection of a garage or a greenhouse and simply wheel it outside on nice days. And how gardeners with limited mobility can still enjoy gardening without bending or stretching. A green stalk also helps you to create a more enjoyable and efficient gardening routine. I fit gardening in after work and family during the weekday and a bit more on the weekends. So the ability to spot check over 40 different plants by standing in one spot and pivoting my garden to water or fertilize my plants has been downright liberating. Now that I can grow more things in a small space, it's been so rewarding for me as a small space grower because I have room to grow things that just captivate my heart or intrigue. You can use my affiliate code to take $10 off your first order. But I want to be completely transparent. Before I was a Greenstock affiliate, I was absolutely a Greenstock customer. And I paid for the two Greenstocks that I have with 100% of my own money. But the folks at Greenstock were so kind to offer my farm girls and farm guys $10 off their order. Just enter the code BAFARMGIRL at checkout. Don't let a small space stop you from growing a garden. Take care, friends. I'll see you in my kitchen or garden soon.